Good evening, welcome back to Let's Play Blackwell Unbound. When we left off last time, we're in 1973 New York, and we are Auntie Lauren this time, exploring her adventures with Joey. We've got two cases we're working on. We've got a ghost at a construction site, a middle-aged lady who, she's, she's talking about they can't get her to go out of there, so I think maybe they're trying to evict her or something or convince her to move. She's on the third floor of an apartment building. Um, and then we've also got a jazz player in the park. A uh, gentleman playing his saxophone. So, things to follow up on. Now, I did want to check the phone book and see if we can find the realtor as well. I have a Seagram Realty. Hmm, there's no listing. No? They must be based out of town. Hmm. And just for fun. Nope, no entry for Joey. <laughs> Didn't really Joe expect there would be. Okay, so we've got some people to go ahead and try to call. We can call Johnny Ivory's. That's probably the better idea. They're going to be open, I would assume, because they're like a nightclub and it's nighttime. Harriet Sherman, I think, is just going to be upset. And See, I don't know that I would be good at finding ghosts. Like, if I were Lauren and this were my job for real, would I really call Harriet Sherman? She could be completely unconnected to the ghost there. It's just a lady who wrote in to say, hey, you guys owe me back rent. Pay it. I want my 60 bucks. And she's probably going to be really furious that we're going to call and bug her in the middle of the night, but let's do it. picking Hello. up, eh? Is this Harriet Sherman? Who is this? <laughs> My name is Lauren Blackwell. What do you want? Fair question. Um, I'm calling from Seagram Realty. Oh, why didn't you say? You've got my sixty dollars. Um, yes, yes, I do. But before I give it to you, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Fine, fine, fine. Well, Come on, by and I'll add to whatever you want. Twenty-four Rector, down in Battery Park City. Just buzz up. Hey, hey. So, Joey. Yeah? Got any spare cash on Oh, $60 Sorry, from our rainy day fund. I my wallet in my other pants. Probably the pair I was buried in. Where were you buried? Would that be a really macabre thing to, like, go visit his grave with him? Probably. All right, rainy day jar. 60 bucks, man. Mm. Things I'll do for a kid. Exactly, that's quite a bit to plunk down on helping a ghost move on, but gotta be done, I guess. Alright, let's call Johnny Ivories. Oh, busy. Bummer. I better go over there in person. Alright, well, it sounds like we've got two new options then. Um, anything to say to before to we Joey. go, Joey? Uh huh. Let's chat. I am so tired. I just want to relax and smoke a cigarette. Since when do you need an excuse to smoke a cigarette? Good point. <laughs> hmm. Uh, what'd you think about that ghost at the construction Any site? thoughts on our construction site ghost? Her? Uh, she's not bad looking in a motherly kind of way. Any thoughts on how to save her? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing springs to mind. I wasn't really asking how attractive you thought she yeah, was. Yeah, we'll talk more later. All right. Off we go. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. So, where should we go first? We're gonna go to Harriet Sherman's. I think Johnny Iris will be cool and have good music, it's but... Open. <laughs> I'm back here in the kitchen! Harriet? Mrs. Sherman, if you don't mind. Alright. You from Seagram Realty? Yes. Have sure. you got my money? Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you a few questions first. You're welcome to ask me anything you'd like, after you give me the money. You got it? I sure do. It's about time. Give it here. All right. Well, here you here go. Here you go. Hmm. It's all here. Sure enough. I'd say thanks if I hadn't had to fight tooth and nail to get it. What teeth, you old bat? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, I won't. Now. You wanted to ask me something? Indeed. Um, well, we'll start with yourself. So tell me about yourself. Me? Why do you want to know? Your name came up during an investigation I'm working on. Investigation? Don't you work for Seagram Realty? Yeah, I was investigating exactly. for them. Ah. Uh. You just use them as a way to get to me, huh? Yes. Is that <laughs> a problem? Oh, not at all. Just don't expect your money back. She's all heart. 
I'm surprised she's not throwing us out. If someone did that to me, I was owed money from somewhere legitimately, and they showed up and paid me, and we're like, oh, I was just trying to get to you because I'm doing this investigation. I'm like, what are you talking about? Out you go. Um, but no, she's willing to entertain it, so okay. Oh boy, we don't really have anything to ask her about. What can you tell me about the construction site on 53rd Street? You've been there? How's the old place looking? It's a big hole in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> ha! Can only be an improvement. I used to live there. Then Seagram Realty bought it and tore it down. Going to build something new and fancy, no doubt. Hmm. So what can you tell us about what used to be there? Nothing. Have you ever been to Roosevelt Island? I hardly ever leave this room. So, no. Hmm. Well. Can I, I cannot switch to Jilly yet. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. Oh, don't walk out. I want to look at it. No. We're going to have to come back when we got something more to ask her about, I guess. Well, to Johnny Ivory's then. Oh, there's nobody here. I'm not here to relax. This place is empty. Yeah. Good. The less people, the better. Why didn't they answer the phone, then? Hmm. This one looks interesting. What you got? Ah, oh, saxophone player. Is this our fella? That's him. The Jasmine ghost from the promenade. Looks like we're on the right track. All right. Who's the lady? The only thing holding up that dress is fate. Pretty girl, <laughs> though. I wonder who she is. And we've got a piano player in the background. The woman is blocking the piano player. I can't see his face. Okay, photo provided courtesy of Jambalaya Records. Courtesy of Jambalaya Records. Hmm, might be worth checking out. Yeah, let's do. Alright. Well, to start. He seems to be enjoying himself, even though there's nobody here to listen to him. Will he chat with us? Hey, mister. Yes? Got a minute? For a pretty thing like you, I got several. Well, thank you. Uh, so what brings you here on such a sad night? You're just jealous, Joey. He's got a smooth voice. Um... I just love music. Well, how about that? I just happen to make music. It's a match made in heaven. And Lauren, what's your name? Pleasure is all mine, Lauren. You can call me C. C? C. You got it, sister. I would like a little more than that. Is that C like the water? That's C like the chord. It's the first chord I played, and you never forget your first. Oh my. Ain't that the truth? Hmm. Let's see if he knows anything about that picture. What's the band in that photograph behind you? That picture is old, sister. It's not that old. Old enough. Before my time is all. You don't know anything about it? I do like the music he's playing. Nice. Do you have a copy of that photograph anywhere? Nope. Sorry. Hmm. It's kind of a bit much to expect in 1973. It's not like these things are just... It's more effort to get a copy of a picture in these days. Okay, um... Do you know any other musicians? I do run in those circles, yeah. Any of them play here? Sometimes we get major gigs here. But me, I'm what you call the dependable type. These fingers can go all night long. Oh my, see. Can they now? Oh jeez, make him stop. Ah, you're jealous. He's a smooth fella. Okay, um... I'm looking for info about a musician. Well, I'll try to help you out. Who is he? I don't know his name. I think he's a sax player. I know lots of sax players, sister. Big guy, kind of chubby, has a beard. Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. Mm. Do you know anything about the construction site on 53rd Street? Now why would I know about a thing like that? No reason. Well, I guess that's that. It's okay for me to talk to you like this. I don't hear anybody else complaining. Dull night, huh? You could say that. But I think it just got a bit more interesting. Is that right? Well, these lips don't lie. See you around. Well. Anytime, sister. Hmm. But she can't really have a relationship with anyone. I mean, because Joey would always be right there lurking. It'd be creepy. I mean, I guess unless you're like the exhibitionist type. Alright, do we have anything else in here? 
looks to be it. I do want to give Joey a chance to. Let's look at. I don't know, there's still nothing new in the nose. What's our case list looking like? Nope, same as it was. Nothing this to say about it. This looks promising. Residents have reported. Nobody knows where. Eh. Oh, I forgot about the camera. Can I take pictures of anybody? Say cheese. Yeah. Let's take a photo of the photo. Here I am like, oh, it's hard to get a copy of a picture in these days. I got a Polaroid on me. Good grief. I don't need a picture of that. Somebody is already playing it. I don't know much about pianos, but it seems nice enough. Alright, now, what about our dictation machine? Why would I want to record that? Because he's got a nice voice. Alright, um... It's the photo from Johnny Ivory's. We're not going to look closer at it? He already knows about this <laughs> photograph. It's right behind him. Alright, let's give Joey a shot. He's a swinger past his prime. Not bad on the piano, though. I just wish he'd keep his eyes on the keys. Mmm, someone's jealous. Hmm, this one looks interesting. Same one? Yeah, what's he think about it? It's our sax playing spirit in the flesh. Take a closer look. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, so it's okay if you find a lovely woman, but not so much if she finds a handsome gent, Whatever huh? Whatever that is, I can't see him. Especially with such a pleasant distraction getting in the way. Uh-huh. Jambalaya Records, huh? It's as good a lead as any. Oh no, I liked the other song better. Alright. Well, I think that might be it for here. This joint doesn't draw much of a weekday crowd. Well, this seems like more of a weekend type of thing anyhow. Nope, I can't leave- Okay, okay. She gets to do it. But now I do want to go back to the other places that we were and see if I can take some pictures, because there's probably some things I missed. Oh, who's this? Oh boy, we've got company. Can you see? Pardon? Can't you see? Yeah. See what, lady? The whole of the world. Um, Connections, patterns, maybe not. pulsing with life everywhere. Oh great, one of New York's <laughs> finest crazies. Do something about this old bat, will ya? Well, we can be nice. Why not? Do you want money? Because I don't have any. That's the I nice approach? Fool! Liar! Can't you see? Um... Useless. Well, she's on her Useless. way. Useless! Wow. <laughs> I know. Only in New York. Well, that was fun. Okay. Anything to take a picture of? I don't need a picture of that. I kind of didn't think so, but, you know. I don't need a picture of that. What about the buildings? I don't need a picture of that. <gasps> Closed, locked, and barred. I'm not getting in this way. And Joey's not going to be able to take pictures inside. But we should go to the promenade. Because they might want a picture of the bridge. Since it looked nice. Is that who I think it is? What is she doing here? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Wait, please. <sighs> Do you understand? No. Do you feel it? Do you see it? I told you I have no idea what you're talking about. You will. You could give us a little more info and then I'd know you what will. you're talking about sooner. I'm sorry. Is she following us? I don't know. She kind of creeps me out. Me too. I wish I could put my finger on why. She is kind of creepy. Take a picture. I don't need a picture of that. But it looks nice. I don't need a picture of that. Say cheese. Hey, hey! Two out of four bonus photographs. What about Joey? Joey, come here. Yeah, doll? Say cheese. Alright. Having fun? Yes. 
So what's my last bonus photograph gonna be? Queensboro right. Bridge. It connects Manhattan to. Qu Let's try talking to this ghost. Ugh, forget it. What? Ugh, forget it. We're not even gonna give it a He's shot. Playing a saxophone. Totally enraptured. I don't even think he knows we're here. Well, let's ask him about the picture. Not the one we took just now, but the one from Johnny Ivory's. Hey, do you recognize this photograph? Hello? Nice try, sweetheart. But I think a more direct approach is required. Alright, you go for it. Go grab his saxophone. Hey, you got a cigarette? I could sure use one. All right, leave him be a second. I'll be back, pal. Don't you worry. He can't... Oh. Well, bummer. Hmm. No, I'll just leave him be. I'll be back, pal. I don't have any... Any new notes? What am I gonna do here? Hmm... Well, we have jambalaya we could look for, I guess. What about... Dictation machine? Can we get his sax playing at all? No? I don't think he'd want that. Eh. I don't think he'd want that. Fair enough. Alright. Well, we've not accomplished much here. I could go back here and try talking to that lady again. And then there's Harriet Sherman's, but we've got, well, I guess we could try showing her the photograph, maybe. It's open! Hey Mrs. there, Harriet. Sherman. Hello again. Mrs. Sherman, sorry. You got more questions for me? Yes, I do. Well, hurry up and ask. I ain't getting any younger. Well, ugh, no, but it's not letting me... No, I think we're done here. Okay. Let's go Goodbye, home. Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention... Thanks for letting us bother you and, you know, basically come in your house for nothing. Okay. Joey, come here. Yeah, doll? I guess we better get out there and finish this thing. After you. Hmm. Any thoughts on our sax playing ghost? No more than you, darling. He likes his music, that's for sure. I doubt we'll get anything useful from him. Alright, we gotta figure out something that's with Jambalaya, so... Yeah, we'll talk more later. Let's see if we can find it here. Jambalaya. Jambalaya Catering. Jambalaya Publishing. Jambalaya's Used Cars. Jambalaya is really that common? Jambalaya Records. Here we go. Jambalaya Records. 240 Essex Street. I'll jot that down. Can we call him? Or are we just going to go visit him? Oh, we can call. But we need to just visit. Busy. I better go over there in person. Alright, let's get to it. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Jambalaya Records. All about jazz. I don't need a picture of that. What about Dwayne? Not from out here, I don't. Alright, then we'll go in and we'll take a picture. Say cheese. Hey hey! Good evening. Good evening to you. I'm Dwayne. Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping you could help me. I'll do my best. What can I do for you? Well... Uh, let's chit-chat a bit. So what is this place? This? This is a music agency. We manage bands, do promotions, things like that, you know? Well, by we, I really mean me. You do this all by yourself? Yep. One man operation. That's me. Hmm. Impressive. What sort of music do you manage? Mostly jazz and reggae. Nobody famous. 
most small timers have trouble getting their foot in the door. Getting gigs in small clubs, helping with recording sessions, you know. The basic stuff that musicians don't want to deal with. Hmm. What's the obvious? You're up and late. Really? Yeah, I suppose I am. I learned to work musician hours, you know. You play a gig at night and have a problem? You want someone to call? Fair point. Your clients have lots of problems, do they? Don't get me started. <laughs> well, to the notebook then. Um... I'm looking for a sax player. Well, I can definitely help you there. You looking for a standee or something more long term? Well... Oh, no, sorry. I'm not with a band. I'm looking for a specific sax player. Well, if he's a client of mine, I can help you. What's his name? That's the problem. I don't know. But he's in a photograph that your company took. Really? Can I see it? You can. Sure, I've got a copy right here. Great. Let me see. Um. Oh. Dang it. How do I... Thanks for the help. I might be back. No problem. Here we go. Do you know this band? Oh, yeah. I remember those guys. Good deal. The C Sharps. That was the band's name? Yeah. I used to manage them. You used to manage them, but not anymore? Nah. Been about eight, ten years. Time flies, you know. The C Sharps. And the guy at Johnny Ivory said to call him C. That just seems awfully... Is there a connection? Is he the piano player in that picture? Why was he lying to us? Interesting. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. Uh, anything else? Anything more about them? Can you tell me about the C Sharps? Oh, they were strictly lounge jazz, you know? But I saw them doing more. They really gelled, you know? Gelled? In tune with each other. And that lady had a voice like velvet. What's her name? What happened to them? Don't know. They disappeared. Got them a few gigs and cut a record and that was it. Guess they just moved on or just broke up. It happens, you know. Hmm. Alright, long shot, but... I don't suppose you know anything about a construction site uptown? Construction? No. No. Well, you gave us something to go on, so thanks. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Burning the midnight oil, eh? He's either really dedicated or has nothing worth going home to. You're very cynical, Joey. Look at her. Not a flicker of interest on her face. She wouldn't recognize good music if it kissed her. Well, let's move on to somewhere else. Let's go back to Johnny Ivory's and ask this guy about C sharps. See what he says about it. Hey, C. Hello there. So, I was wondering, C. Do you know anything about the C sharps? The C sharps. The C sharps. Nah. Nah, I've never heard of them. I have a feeling that's not the truth. Let's go try talking to the ghost himself See about around. it. Anytime, sister. Maybe if he hears his band name, that'll catch his attention. All right. Ugh, forget it. Not even gonna try. Well, Joey? Mm. I'll be back, pal. Don't you worry. Oh, I'm doing it wrong, aren't I? I need to grab the saxophone. Hello again. There we go. I said I let go of that. that. I know you did, but... Tell me about the C-sharps. What are you, what are crazy? crazy? Get out of here. here. Get, Get out of here. here. Why are you so angry about the C-sharps? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got quite a reaction out of him, but that wasn't what I was expecting. Okay, wait. Hello again. 
I said, let go of that. Can I switch? No. Dang it, I really want to show him the picture. But I can't switch to Lauren when Jelly's interacting with him. Fine. Hmm. What do we want to try next, then? I guess we could try asking Mrs. Sherman about the C-sharps? She might know. It's something, at any rate. It's open! Mrs. Sherman? Hello again. Hello. You got more questions for me? Yes, I do. Well, hurry up and ask. I ain't getting any younger. Well, I was wondering. Do you know anything about C-sharps? Have you ever heard of a band named the C-sharps? No, uh. I'm not one for music. Well, sorry to have bothered ya. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. What do we want to do next, then? Mm. Well, let's try talking to this ghost again. Maybe she'll have something else to say. Joey, you're up. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. This place is filthy. Alright, let's talk to you some more. Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. My. I'm popular today. Oh, you again. Yeah. So... I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to... Who are you? Mm, none of these convince her. I live next door. You do? Uh... No, you, you're not fool. One of who is... I told you the only way is as a goodbye. Did I leave the castle? Mm, anything I missed in the trailer? Just a fan. Can't do anything with that. Me. Not much I can do with that. I do have this mud on the ground, but I think that's just because it's a construction site. Doesn't seem particularly significant. Just to keep up appearances, I think I'll use the door. <laughs> I can see that spirit pacing back and forth out there. <sighs> what am I missing? I'm missing something for sure. Let's go through the gate. So how's your new friend? Oh, just dandy. <laughs> Let's... The Promenade Ghost once played in a band called the C-Sharps. Yeah, but it didn't really give us anything new. Well, let's head out of here. Is there anything else to look up at home? I've got- there's got probably something with the dictaphone, because I have not used that at all. It's got to it's got to figure in somewhere. Here, scoot over a little. Lauren's rainy day fund, zero dollars. Hmm. Bummer. What's Joey think about that now? The jar is empty now. Yep. Does it want a hug? Maybe. I'm not ready for a nap. No? You don't want to sleep on it? See if anything comes up tomorrow? Alright, alright. Is there anyone else to look up? I shouldn't have clicked on that because I don't really know. What else could we look up? Mm. See. There's no entry for that. Anyone to call? Nope. What am I missing here? It's 
my lighter. A pack of cigarettes. Should last till the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, where are we gonna go, Lauren? Let me. Come on, let's get out of here. I'll go ahead right and wind the you. episode down here. As always, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. I will take some time to to sit and think about this. I'm I'm sure there's something probably obvious that I'm missing. So I just need to take a bit and it'll come to me and we'll pick up when I've got an idea where to proceed.